All right, it's November 17th, the Sunday. We uh, just stormed back out here. We're kind of in the same area we were fishing last night, or sorry, last week. Same. Um, marks are pretty comparable to last week. These fish really haven't moved much. There's a ton of boats out today. There's a good sized tournament going on today. A lot of fish. We're just trying to stay out of this pack. Try not to play bumper boats. But game plan is we're gonna run similar leads, similar presentations, kind of go from there. So we're gonna fish till about six and uh, hopefully put a couple fish in the boat. So this is was a hot bait last week. I think this is called Huff Daddy. Got some purples and some pinks. So for Great Lakes Troll, what you're gonna wanna do is this is your line counter. It shows you how many feet of line you let out so you can properly see how deep your bait's fishing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let out about 25 feet of line. 25 feet. So this is our snap way right here. Clip that on the line right here. And this will allow you to fish that bait at a deeper depth on a shorter lead. So we're gonna let this back another 50 feet, 25 feet. It's 50 feet back, right 50 feet, 50 feet back. All right, now we'll take the offshore board. Clip it on like this. I always wrap around the first clip. Like that. <laughs> that is a fish for sure. Hundred and didn't hit super hard. Considering we've only been out here five minutes, though, I'll take it. Thirty back. Ooh. It's a nice cedar, huh? Got our second fish going here. This hit on. This hit on a lead we were running last week. It was a perfect 10-25-25. This has got the weight on it too. Or I'll scoop it if you just wanna send that back out. Well, our number two of the day got a little bit of a tangle there. Nice healthy fish. Might be a decent fish. That was embarrassing. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to tell. It's decent, maybe. Or no, actually, this is that bandit again. Oh shoot! No good. I might be able to walk it back. I just take it easy. We just ran down to uh, downtown Cleveland. We made a long run. Not a long run. We made about a one mile, two mile run west. Hopefully we stumble across something while we're out here um, that we can circle back on and keep fishing. But I haven't fished this part of Cleveland this year, so I don't really know what these fish are doing, but we're gonna give her a try and hopefully stumble across something. 100 back, pink, lem pink lemonade bandit. Well, that's a good sign. You said we were starting to come back into that major. Yeah. 
All right, I got it. It's coming in easily, but it's staying in deep. Uh, I think it's decent. 15. 10, five. She's right there. Dude, that's a good one. Got a little bit of a better one in the net. Couple nice head shakes, huh? Decent. Oh, it's pretty decent. It's got some weight to her. Yeah. Definitely a netter. She's staying down. Ten. Your board looks kind of weird. Oh my gosh, so is mine. Outside board out. Oh, get, get that fish, Tyler. I got this can. We are doubled up. But yeah, take your time. I'll, I'll, I'll get mine. Mine's coming up high in the column. Yep. Tyler's got a hog. I'm really hoarse in mine. <laughs> I know you've got a nice one, a nicer one. Get in the boat. <sighs> Nicely done, Mr. Skip. That right there is number seven. That's actually not a bad fish. Watch yourself, buddy. Oh, there it goes. I just figured out it is still hooked. 